I'm actually going to turn up the game volume so that way you will only be able to hear that and not. Okay, yeah. I just turned off surround sound so you guys don't have to worry about that echo. Putting sound through my TV. Hopefully it won't be as bad. Oh, yeah. So here's the... That's what I had to check out. So we have answer hails and red alert. Those are the only two buttons. Everything else is based off the pad here. And there is no voice commands yet. For this mode, they're going to add them later. Warp right. here. Prepare to warp. And uh, the left red or yellow shirt is operations. The right red shirt is your pilot. And right behind me, where Wharf or Yar would be standing, is where Tactical is. And it's just beautiful being up there. So, I'm going to make sure this isn't echoing with the TV. Impulse. I will mark our charts. Where are you at? All right, so we got to go to the radiate radiation. There we go. All right, we're good here. And we just prepare impulse. And I can't wait for voice commands to work for this because I prefer to play single player unless I know who I'm playing with. And the people I know did not pick this up. Uh. Which I don't blame them. This is, I would say, for a hardcore Star Trek fan. Because it's the same community that's probably playing the game currently. And has been playing since launch. So if you're not a hardcore Star Trek fan, this might be a little too expensive for you. I'm just going to throw that out there. I completely understand. I actually got rewards from... You know what? I forgot the rate. You go to red alert before we jumped in. Alright, we are detected, so as soon as I can, we're gonna try to get up here and take out some warbirds. Alright, I need to probably save those tor- actually no. We have a decent amount. So what I'm going to do is go to flight and take over. So as you see here, this looks identical. Only difference is you don't have that big uh, JJ lever off to the side to warp in. So I'm going to come back. And then I'm going to show you operations because I need to do some engineering stuff all right that's all good this is your power levels the darker orange is currently what's active and the lighter uh paler orange is not active so we have three in shields and engines and four in phasers and if this dude gets us hit again i want to go for the detax because it's closer and cool thing is operations. I'm gonna go defensive. I'm actually gonna take over again and reset our power levels. Alright, good. So as you see here, you have people moving through the ship. Uh, we have one person in thruster control, one person in phaser control, and two people in or two people on their way to shield gen generators and then one going to scanners. That is the new operations. You have to manage your crew on. I'm gonna say this in air quotes. How to man or how to repair your ship. Best way I can say it. And now I'm gonna come up to tactical and take control here. We're gonna recalculate our shields. And you see this mini game here. 
Like, if you time it right, you get a little... I think it's more damage. So, it's actually kind of cool. And you get that wood grain feel. I can't imagine how this looks in uh, 4K. And I normally don't worry about that, but I just want to see how this wood looks. One of the things I loved about... Uh, what do you call it? Force of Unleashed is how the things broke apart and everything. So, just the look of this is pretty cool. And yes, I am playing single player. Just because... Ooh, crap. Alright. Gotta come down here. I'm probably gonna fail this because I'm doing horrible right now. That. Operations, I'm taking over. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna let you do whatever it is you have to do. I need to look at the ship health. 80-something percent, no shields. Tactical, you need to raise those shields. Alright, here we go. Uh, oh, that's why I'm getting hurt. I'm going through that stupid anomaly. And that dude's gonna get his hit again. Get us out of here. This is why I have a problem with the AI in this game. The dude tends to fly straight through stuff. Finish him off so I can get out of here. Thank you. Now I'm going to turn around. Now we have a battle group and I believe we're going to end up fighting a bunch of stuff. Yep. Alright. I need to tell Fool to avoid that. Otherwise, he will fly right through it. Every time. And he's gonna do it anyway. So, yeah, have fun. You're gonna watch me get hurt a lot. Or he's gonna hit that rock again. This guy has hit a rock every time I've tried to, like, capture footage of how the battles and everything play out. That's all he does is just hit rocks. Alright, we took one out. Nope. Go back. I didn't select the right one. There we go. Once the voice commands come in, playing single player will be a lot easier. And we're actually going to look at the operations again. I got to see how everything's looking. Start moving people. Okay, I think that was all the mission was. Well, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be, if it is. And like the engineer, you have to, uh, you have a set number of crew. That's how you move them around and repair each subsystem. So, yep, 